everyone happy sunday this is anka metcalf with trade out loud there was a technical issue with the first video that was sent out sorry for any inconvenience but here we are uh re-recording the same market outlook for next week uh the week starting with january 14th uh and uh, we're gonna take a look at the market indices we're gonna take a look at some hot stocks that are on our list for this upcoming week uh, one of the most important things for the market is that we're beginning earnings season. The first stock that will report earnings tomorrow will be Citi, uh, ticker symbol C. Uh, and uh, we're going to go into full throttle by the end of the week. Also, at the end of the week, on Friday, we have option expiration. So we do expect kind of hawkish price action activity as we're heading into Friday. All right, so without further ado, let's begin with the queues. Uh, and this is a weekly chart of the queues. We have uh, pretty much closed a solid week uh, into uh, dissolving some of the resistance that we've had from October 8th, of, from, I'm sorry, from November 19th. And we're gravitating higher and we had a pretty strong close uh, in on Friday. So we're having this tap onto the 10 exponential moving average. And as you can see the price right now, as we're moving to the left-hand side, we're pretty much dissolving some of this uh, volatility resistance that we have the support level that now is becoming minor resistance for this price action the fact that we've closed so strongly we may be able to see a continuation higher if we push over these highs right here so if we push over 161.50 in fact 161.53 is going to be the trigger that may project the price higher back into these resistance areas we have three moving averages here we have the 50 the 20 and the 34 sma that is going to create some price resistance we're going to see some selling pressure across uh, as the price is going to accelerate into the 169 so we see a pretty much clear traje trajectory into the 169 level let's take it down to the daily chart daily chart last three da days were more of consolidation days pendulum back and back and forth trying to establish the new support level uh and we have the 158.67 uh, new resistance level for last week we have 161.52 if we blast over this 50 area like i said there's going to be a small turbulence area just uh just overhead but b because we have we are uh consolidating very strongly here on the four hour one hour and in, uh on the uh, on the daily chart uh most likely the price is going to dissolve this resistance and propel higher into that nice tradable void that we spoke about from the weekly perspective into the 169. Let's take a quick look at the SPIES. SPIES daily chart consolidation last three trading days, pretty much similar price action activity with NASDAQ, with the Qs, and we're uh, just uh, tapping for the last three days, we have been tapping onto this uh, 34, simple moving average and we're also running into this prior pivot low remember the October low it was pretty scary but then again the scary part was in December with the bottoming out on right right on Christmas Eve so December 24th and rotated back up we're back into these October lows right here this is gonna be a big line in the sand why well because this is minor resistance for current price action so there are two things that can happen right now we either digest and we have already started the digestion phase with these three solid days digesting this prior resistance level from these October lows and if we manage to press hard again uh, press hard through this resistance into the 259 we're going to release more buying pressure that is going to take the price back into a confluence zone of 163 and change so it's looking pretty strong right now a uh, weekly chart uh, we're back into resistance. Look at the left-hand side, October lows, and also we're trading into April lows right here, and we have just digested this low from February, and we have also dissolved the uh, April 2nd. So we're just right now, end of April lows right here. We need to uh, work on these lows. And again, here, we uh, it's gonna be a little harder to d dissolve these uh, the this resistance area just because we have a lot more factors built into this price right now. Plus, let's not forget, we also had a three bar rally. So remember, the bulls cannot be in charge for more than three, five, 
six bars at once and then they require a pullback so they need to take a little bit of break before they uh take uh, before they can take charge again it was a pretty amazing reversal off of this 200 simple moving average and in fact if we go way back the last time when we have revisited uh, the area close to the 200 simple moving average was right here at 101.02 and that was uh, that was on January 20 it was 18th I think okay it was January 18th of 2017 okay so right now we're still maintaining the uptrend tra trajectory when we're looking at the weekly chart so we have not violated by we're not violating anything by much even if we pull back, and this is what I'm going to be looking for, even if we pull back because of the really strong rally that we had right now, and if we're going to have the influence from earnings season, and if we're having some positive results that we did not have in the last quarter, and everybody was very helpful in the last quarter, last quarter is usually one of the strongest, strongest quarter. Uh, I usually have really amazing results in, uh, in, the, uh, in the last quarter, in the fourth quarter, and the results were very breaking even for this uh for for the activity of a traditional last quarter of the year but if we have started we have a really good head start on the year we're already considerably up we're into resistance but even if we have a slight pullback let's say into uh, into 252, 253, we can still see rotations to the upside that can build on on what we have uh, what we have uh, um, built so far and uh, move a little bit higher. Let's take a look at the diamond. And uh, the diamonds are also into resistance. This is the weekly chart. Please notice that we have completed a very very strong week. We pretty much closed at the high. So this means that if we're going to take out last week's high, we should be continuing higher. Now, don't forget, look to the left-hand side. We do have a uh, support that is translating into minor resistance right here. Plus, we have this 10 exponential moving average that is going to put a little bit of selling pressure on price. What we see developing on the daily chart is that we have three days of consolidation we have two dojis we in fact we have three dojis that accelerated higher into uh thursday and friday but we have not yet taken out these highs but if we take out the 240 level we're gonna really zip up all the way to 242 level 242.50 and the next target is gonna be into this descending 50 sma that is the 244.50 zone all right, so let's get started now with Stocks on Watch. First stock that is on my watch list is Apple. Apple, uh, no surprise, we have uh, taken a reversal in Apple, and we're in this stock, uh, and uh, currently we're into trail mode. Last three trading days were nothing else but a, a slight continuation higher. Look at these lows right here, and in fact, I'm going to put up the hourly chart because it's... Uh, it has a better, uh, you can have a better view of the tr trend reversal. So we have the lows from the gap down and we have higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low here. And we actually had a higher low back into Friday. So that's really good positive price action. We have also managed to make higher highs. So this is really good for price. So right now the price is basing between 151 and the high of 150, uh, 154.6. If we break above this level right here, we can actually continue higher and see highs all the way back into the 158 and 158 and change. Uh, we also have the 200 simple moving average. We pretty much have a really nice stable base right here. And when we open, uh, if we get this full reversal in progress, we may be working on, on the trajectory back to 154 and back to 154.50. 154.50 is going to explode to the upside. So if we have this momentum. Uh, on the other hand, plan B, what happens and if we ha and when do we become bearish? All right. So for this, I'm going to take it, uh, going to, going to take it up to the daily chart. Uh, if we cross below 149, this is going to be the bear zone right here. But uh, th this is still very bearish. I mean, if you look at the daily chart, this is so we have very mixed signals in Apple. So we're taking it one day at a time and managing 
every single day at a time. So because we have, a, uh, we have the fanning out of the moving averages, which suggests more power traction to the downside, but they're, they're trying to close above this 10 exponential moving average. And this is gonna create, so this moving average, once this moving average is gonna create the first hook for price to push it a little bit higher, then we could see uh, the price accelerate into the target level that I've mentioned, which is the prior high from when we, when we gap down into the 159. So it's a case by case study, but all in all, uh, we're looking pretty bullish right now. And I do like the weekly chart as well, because we did have, when we gapped down, the reason why I got long was because we came in to the support level. It was a support level that was developed from back in June 19 of 2017. And we have a double bottom right here. And we also have the 200 simple moving average. So it was a really nice reversal zone right here. Now, as we're gonna move higher into, um, uh, if we're gonna move higher into um, next week, we definitely need to see a break over 155, 154.90. This is going to be, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, it's not 90 here. Let me just see. The high is 154.53, 154.53 on this candle. If we manage to trade above this candle high, then we can see prices into the 158. This will be for me an ad area right here. So uh, if we manage to, to take out, so this week, I'm gonna do a second, uh, I'm gonna do a second ad if we cross over one, uh, 154, uh, 154.55, and then if we cross over 159, that's gonna be my second ad for the trade, for a continuation higher back into the, uh, back into the 160, 165. So Apple is on my hot list, continues to be on my hot list, really nice stock to trade. Uh, the other stock that is very strong, in my opinion, is Facebook. And uh, Facebook, although tapping into resistance right here, and uh, you can see these highs, and also look to the left-hand side, we do have a lot of support uh, from uh, June of 2017. Remember, June 2017, we did have some uh, ranges developed from which we broke out. So we're back into the same area again. So this is going to be, uh, this is going to be a, a, a big area from which we can actually create a trigger for higher. Because on the monthly chart, you can see that we have a one, two, three, four, five, six bar pullback and a reversal into the uh, 50 simple moving average, but also this reversal is occurring into these prior tops right here. So we have double support level from these highs and from the current price action activity. So if this week we're gonna trade above 145.70, we have room for, um, for uh, a, possibly a move higher. It's gonna get a little turbulent between 151 and 155, but once we get over this, uh, we actually may run a little bit higher. So again, it's gonna be turbulent. It's not gonna be a smooth, easy ride, but nothing has been throughout, throughout last year. And this year has been, uh, trading has been a little smoother for swing trading. Uh, day trading, although has been a lot, a lot more turbulent. But if we break over these highs right here, we're ready for a rally in Facebook as well. eBay, eBay really nice reversal uh, on the monthly chart if we trade over thirty dollars and uh, thirty dollars and uh, sixty cents we're moving higher and again we still have a lot to build on uh, the first target is going to be into the thirty three dollars thirty five dollars for a next target into the 40s and back into uh, back into these highs so monthly charts look really well looks really really well for a continuation higher I like eBay a lot Another stock that is on my watch list is XEL. An XEL weekly chart is the one that is gonna give us all the information. We can have a weekly reversal over $49.50 with a higher trajectory uh, and target into the $50.50 and higher back into the 51, 75, 52, and back into the, uh, uh, back into the 54 and highs of 54, 11. XEL, really nice weekly chart definitely an add to anyone's watch list. ADSK, uh, Autodesk. 
uh, short term, I'm looking at the one hour, and as you can see here, I'm balancing out between higher time frames, so longer, uh, uh, longer duration of time uh, when we're talking about eBay, when we're talking about uh, XCL and uh, Facebook, and also Autodesk, I'm looking for a shorter term swing. So shorter term swings usually develop on one hour and four hour charts. I love the fact that it's basing at the high right here. And uh, uh, if we break over 137.60 uh, area, we can have a nice continuation higher. And the target levels are 140, 145, and into the 150. Now I'm gonna share with you the daily charts. Consolidation here, pretty much similar price action with the Qs, three days of consolidation, and notice the higher highs. Okay, so if we get a break over this 137.50, we have room to move higher back into this uh, 150 and uh, 140, 145, and 150. These are going to be the target areas for Autodesk. VRSN. Uh, VRSN is, uh, I like it on the monthly chart, so I'm going to go directly to the monthly chart. I see a lot of consolidation, support into the 140, and if we break over uh, if we break over these highs right here that we have just established uh, last week and into the one between 157 and it's working its way really, really hard to tackle these highs. I'm going to go back to a smaller time frame to show you what I'm seeing. But over 160 has the capability of running back into the 175, 180 and more. So when I'm going to the daily chart, you can see that it had a low into December 24th, accelerated higher, found support once again into the 200 moving average, and it bounced really hard above this whole cluster of moving averages right here, uh, just uh, pushing the price higher, uh, closing again on the 160 breakout area. So this is going to be a really nice breakout. Uh, notice the price action activity, one, two, three days pretty much uh, within within the range. I like the buildup of this red candle within uh, these two prior green candles. So this is a bull sandwich ready to explode. Like I said, over 150, uh, 159, it may be ready for a continuation higher and acceleration back into the 165, 170, and 175. So this is a really, really nice, strong, strong stock. Intel. This is one of my favorite stocks to trade, and uh, not one of my favorites, but uh, it is it is a favorite of mine to trade. So I really like the, uh, the um, you know, uh, smaller price in it. I could really load up on it. And uh, what I like in Intel is basically the monthly chart. So let's go to the monthly chart right here. Okay. So if we break over $50, this is what I really like, $50 right here, we may accelerate back into the uh, $55 zone. I like the build up here. We have double bottom into the 142, uh, moving a bit higher. We've been pretty much trading within this doji right here that was set in October. Uh, so we, we're gravitating a bit higher. We have revisited some lows right here, but not tackling the prior lows. So lifting, creating that lift of support. Uh, we had a lift for the month of January so far. And if we break over 50, I see what uh, I see $55 and even higher back into the uh, uh, 57 and 60. So watch Intel for throughout the year. I think that if we break over the $60, this could actually be a good runner into the rest of the year. So I'm going to keep a close eye on Intel. TMUS is another stock on my hot list, and uh, you guessed it, it's going to be a monthly reversal over $69.20. Uh, it has a really nice uh, push higher, and uh, by the way, TMUS is trading at, uh, is trading uh, really close to resistance uh, from the monthly charts, but it still has a lot of room to go. Guess what? About $10 higher for a target level. And uh, daily chart, not bad. Uh, daily chart can provide us with a lesser risk, obviously, than the monthly chart. Uh, we have support into the 167, and once we break this cluster right here, and you can see that we really worked on breaking this cluster. We broke it on Thursday. We broke it on Friday, so we're inching higher here, trying to eliminate all this noise to the left-hand side that we had in fall and winter. So if we break above this area, like I said, we have a pretty much 
really nice uh, uh really nice trajectory to seventy dollars seventy dollars basically is going to wash out all the noise to the left hand side and let's get get ready for its eighty dollar price target and that's going to take a little bit more time but this is the a real nice build up and a real nice trajectory for tmus so it just needs to build up over the sixty nine dollars uh, and uh, the next target uh, over $69 is going to be $70. I really like this area for a long at $69. Uh, PYPL, PayPal, is next on the list. And uh, PayPal chart also, really nice breakout when it comes to the monthly chart. You can see that this month, uh, and actually we've been trading for less than two weeks. We had less than two weeks, um, less than 10, 10 trading days because of the holiday. Uh, but a really nice breakout over $88 and, uh, 83 cents that happened this week. And we moved higher back into the nineties. And, uh, I think that we have a really nice bull flag when we're talking about the monthly chart and it's a matter of time before we really break out over these highs as well and project higher and i think that paypal may be heading into the 120 very very soon there's a price projection for one uh for 120. um it way to leg in this trade because obviously the weekly chart suggests higher and obviously if we're gonna break above 191.22 we're gonna start inching higher what last week did was you raised all this chop to the left hand side that pretty much uh, took place for the whole month of October, November, and December. So three months of slop and shop, but consolidation. And we have not uh, stepped away from the uptrend because we're having higher lows and higher highs. So we have not breached any kind of trend line and directional bias. So uh, we're heading higher, any pullback. If we should get any pullback back into the $89, Pull back by continuation higher on higher time frames. Wait till again. I'll be watching very closely the one hour and the four hour charts for possible pullback buy. All right, let's take a uh, let's take a look at WFC, and these are the last two symbols that we're gonna analyze today. WFC. Uh, remember, we're gonna have earnings this week, but it has a really nice. Uh, here we go on the daily really nice stable base on the daily support forty six dollars and ninety seven cents and we have resistance at forty eight dollars and twenty six cents we break over to forty eight dollars and twenty six cents I think that we're definitely poised to continue higher at least into the 50 we're gonna have some turbulence into the 48 level but projection higher back into the 50 and 50 is gonna be the big line in the sand because we have a strong confluence zone uh, that comes from the 50 simple moving average, which is declining. And also we do have a prior pivot low that is uh, pushing towards uh, pushing towards creating minor resistance at this price level. Uh, I love this breakout right here. Everybody that knows me love knows that I absolutely love to trade breakouts and breakdowns. So a breakout over $48.26 may project the price higher. Now, because we're just ahead of earnings, I'm not going to initiate any kind of swing but we can actually use options to uh, moderate to use a moderate risk on it i'm looking at march 15th or april 18th 50 calls back into this resistance level uh and because we're talking about financials let's just take a look at the etf and xlf and we're already long xlf and uh we're looking and actually i'm looking to possibly add over 24 dollars and 60 cents i see a very nice consolidation here throughout last week so monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday we had a nice consolidation 24 dollars and 50 cents was uh pretty much the line in the sand once we break the 2450 we're definitely going to push higher the next target is going to be 25 dollars. so watch for xlf and if I mean, this is uh, we're, we're just starting earnings seasons. And if financials are going to have a good quarter, then we can see the price explode, obviously, in XLF higher. All right. This is all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you uh, like the video. So every time we post something, you will receive a notification. And don't forget that we have an upcoming swing trading class. For more details, you can visit our website. Or for more information about the class curriculum, you can uh, email us at info at tradeoutloud.com. Hope you all have a fantastic trading week, and I'll see you next week with Stocks on Watch.